Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Shan and today I've got for you my April favourites. April was yet again a slightly random month, but there are some things that I got which I really wanted to share with you. The first one, I'm going to go with beauty product first. I ran out of cleanser and needed to get some more and I needed something that was reasonable so that I could actually afford to buy it. I came up with this, which is the ordinary, I don't know how to say this, squalene, squalene, squalene um, cleanser. And this is something that you put on to take your makeup off. I basically got this because I used to buy wipes, the simple face wipes. I, I know it's not good for the environment, I probably shouldn't have done, but I always used to buy those. It was really easy at night, I just used to do that and then cleanse my face after. And then I realised, actually that's really not good for the environment. All of a sudden I couldn't get the face wipes from the supermarket. So I wanted something that took away that kind of wipes and that disposable stuff. So I went with this cleanser. I have used the Ordinary products before. I've got some of their rosehip oil, which is incredible. I put it on my skin every night and it just feels beautiful. This is a face cleanser and makeup in remover in one. I don't put it on my eyes. For my eyes, I actually just use Vaseline on a cotton wool bud, but I haven't been wearing makeup through lockdown, so I haven't needed to do that. So I've just been using this. And you kind of pop a pea-sized amount onto your hand and rub it in. It kind of turns into oil. And then you rub it onto your face and it um, takes away all the impurities and things. It's really nice, it's really light, it leaves your skin feeling amazing. And now after this I use the Pixi Retinol Tonic and then I, after that I put on the rosehip oil at night. So that's what I use at night, I don't use it in the morning because I use the Pixi Mud Cleanser in the morning. So I don't use this in the morning. I think, it, it's, I think it's probably going to run out quite quickly. Uh, which is not great but I guess it's only 50 mils I don't know I think it's amazing it's been my favorite beauty product without a shadow of doubt this month although I am really enjoying not wearing makeup not bothering with makeup and letting my skin breathe not that I ever really wear kind of foundation or anything on my skin but just all of my skin is breathing and my eyes aren't getting irritated by mascara all that kind of stuff so this is something I've really really enjoyed my favourite item of clothing. Now I messaged someone near the beginning of lockdown and they said that they hadn't worn a bra for three weeks. As a larger breasted lady, this is not an option for me. Um, and I've always worn underwire bra and I always have like a little um, bruise from the underwire, even though I'm wearing the right size bra. It's a really comfortable bra, doesn't hurt when it's on, but I always have a bruise on either side, right where the underwire finishes. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I should try and find right now in lockdown, whilst it doesn't matter what my boobs look like, not that it should ever matter what my boobs look like, particularly to anyone else, um, I will look in at whether I can get some kind of bralette. And I had a £50 voucher to spend at M&S, which was my Christmas present from my aunt. So I went on their website and I got two bralettes. This is one of them. They're really, really pretty. I mean, it looks huge, like I could literally fit my head in one of those. They're for a fuller bust, and they are not sized in cup size, but they're sized in your dress size, and I was not sure, because my kind of narrowest point is underneath my breasts, and it's relatively narrow there, but then my boobs are quite big. So I'm normally a 36 EF, um, and this is a size 14, so there's no cup size whatsoever, but actually it fits really well. I possibly could have gone with a 12 for the width, but this really fits really nicely. This part does ruche up a little bit because this part goes um, underneath the bra line. But I really like the fabric. I think it's pretty. I've got two, um, they were on offer. So this bit sits beneath the bra line. It rides up a tiny bit, but you can't feel it riding up. It looks pretty on. Um, it does the job and it doesn't actually, I figured it would make my boobs kind of go different directions or not look that good under a t-shirt, but actually it's really, really flattering. So I think it will take quite a lot for me to go back to wearing underwire every day. So I have two of these, this yellowy pinky one and a black and white zebra patterned one. I love both of them. I think they're £9.50 each. If you have a fuller bust, 
these are amazing i really didn't think that it would fit in terms of like ordering a size 14 i just thought normally when you do that you end up with like boob coming out the top because it just hasn't worked but because it's i think it's double d plus so it really is for a fuller breast but really works really comfy really pretty my favorite instagrammer this month is m from brummy mummy of two most of you will have heard of her i've followed m for a really long time um, she just posts family stuff, fun stuff, she likes to have a laugh. But the reason I chose her as my favourite Instagrammer this month is that she's been doing these really fun live quizzes with like themes, so they're Harry Potter. She dressed up as Dobby the other day, I mean that's dedication to a cause. She has Disney themed quizzes and I just think the way she's including people is really really nice and the way she's kind of making that effort to include people whilst everyone's stuck in lockdown she's entertaining people and i really like that she's also really honest about when she's finding it hard and i think especially as a parent i don't want to see perfect accounts that have children who never misbehave or you know perfect families beautiful homes and i'm not saying she hasn't got a beautiful home she has and i'm sure her children are wonderful but she also says that they do fight a lot and i just relish that honesty because i think especially in the mum blogger world that honesty is quite often lacking a bit and it puts a lot of pressure on other people to try and be this perfect person and most of those instagrammers are not perfect people i'm pretty sure maybe some of them are who knows but for me i like to see realness on instagram i don't want to see like a, a perfectly preferred picture i want to see reality um because that makes me feel more normal so that's what i i go for there my favorite book this month was thunderhead by neil shusterman it's the second in the scythe trilogy and one i enjoyed i didn't enjoy the first or no not that i didn't enjoy it the first third of the book i found a little bit hard to get back into the storyline but you join Rowan and Citra who are now Scythe Anastasia and Scythe Lucifer. It's how they are going through life. Rowan as Scythe Lucifer is obviously on the run. He is gleaning, which is killing all kind of rogue Scythes or Scythe with quite dodgy models, models, morals. And so he's gleaning them, killing them and kind of taking the law into his own hands, except there isn't a law, there is the Thunderhead and the Thunderhead is all seeing all listening but we discover in this book that there are things the thunderhead does not know about which um shouldn't really be possible so it's a really interesting book and i love that kind of young adult dystopian novel which i'm sure you know already but it it was a really good read and it was an easy read as well and it wasn't too kind of dystopian as in like what's currently happening in the world so i could deal with that my favourite YouTuber this month, I genuinely haven't had time to watch YouTube. I've barely had time to go to the toilet by myself and that's not an exaggeration. My time goes on cleaning up after my children, teaching my children, feeding my children, um, preparing to teach or feed or any of the other things my children. I have mentioned to them how frustrating I find it and how I wish I had a little more help, but they don't seem any more willing. So. Um, yes, so my favourite YouTuber, I'm actually going to go with one that my children have been watching and that is Cartooning Club How to Draw and they have over 2 million subscribers. They do kind of loads of different cartoons, loads of different Fortnite characters and my son who never draws is drawing every single day these really kind of intricate pictures and I'm so proud that he's used this time to find something he enjoys doing like he genuinely would be happy doing that every single day just out of choice i'm really enjoying that he's finding that creativity so i have to thank that youtube channel for it even if it means i have to watch that youtube channel every day whilst he does the videos so those are my favorite things this month what are the things that you have been enjoying let me know in the comments i'd love to know the kind of things that you've been reading or your beauty recommendations and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.